Right, so I got the drum out. He's all sat on the floor. Just emptying the system. Just to see if it will work. So what the plans are today. 35 and a half. But she'll do. Like a club. I might have to wait until one of the kids get home. But what I thought about doing. Thank you very much, Andrew Burton. Top man. I need the mop. Let's get inside. Not that much mess at the moment. Yeah, what I've ordered, guys. I've ordered. Come on, Tyler. Load us up, son. Load us up. Am I allowed through the house? No. Wait, wait, baby. Right, so right through. I was just thinking about ordering some new bulbs. Pain in the ass. We get eight days a week in my life because I stayed awake for one of them editing videos. Look out now, boy. Boom. It's a little bit of a different one. I'm going into the filter house. I'm going to lower the drum filter that I've got. And yeah, stick around for this one because it's going to be interesting. So we're in the filter house today. And what the plans are today, main problem that I've got inside of the drum, when I actually initially put it in, I marked my level right there on the drum to the level of the water height. But anyone that fits a drum, what you've got to remember is that when you turn the pumps on, you start pulling a lot more water out of the drum and then basically what happens you can see down there where the boats are if you count from the top one two three where i need the water level to sit when the drum's running is on that second boat down and uh you can see because i'm pulling water out of this drum super quick which i'm chucking over my showers with 30 000 liter very flow pump what happens, it pulls so much water out of this drum. So that's enough yibbity yabbada. Most people get the idea what the situation is. I left a little gap here. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna budge this up. That will allow me a little bit of room down here. I'll be able to move the moving bed back down over here. So the gap that I create will be over here, which will be quite handy because I'll be able to store bits and pieces down here and it'll be a bit easier to get to because I keep my food bins down here. The way that I've already got it set up, it's literally me moving this down to here. I've still got some of these left over. So I had one of this left over from when I initially built the pond. It's been living up there for the past three years. And what my plans were, were to sit this in here today like this. But the only downside about it, the 90 degree bend from where the water's got to flow that's the way that I've got to have it to run. It sits the same height as what these rubber boots does, which if I drop the drum down 20 mil, well, basically these will be too far on the angle. I think there'll be too much pressure on the angle because it's, it's, it's not quite dead level across there anyway. So if I lose the gap between here and here, the 90 degree bend, because these are cheap 90 degree bends, and this is an Evolution Aquam one. What I'm trying to say is a bit yibbity yabbada, but it's exactly the same height. But what I have got on these, so these are Evolution Aqua bends. If you compare the size from that to that, there's a good 20 mil difference there. So I'm thinking I might pinch these two, pop them on here, ideally me using this, if I had this, this was the idea today, but it's not gonna work. That would have been sat like that. And then I'd, I would have been able to have a rodding point with a pipe coming up, rod the bottom drains, if you know what I mean. That was that was a sort of a plan today. It ain't gonna work because the bends are the same. So what I'm planning to do is pinch that, pinch that, swap them two for them two. That will allow me to take 20 mil off the bottom of the leg of this base drop the whole thing down, cut a few pipe works, undo. It's only, you know, rubber boots playing around, just adjusting pipe sizes. It might work, it might not work, but we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. What a sound that is. But I'm basically, I've just turned off the shower filter pumps. I've turned off all of my ball valves. I'm just emptying the system to as much as I possibly can. Just draining it out. It is going to get a bit of water on the floor here today. I've got my Reeboks on. It'll be all right, guys. So I'm just literally just draining as much water as I can before I disconnect anything, before I shove anything up this end. And uh, just giving it a go and see what happens. Worst thing that can happen is that I have to put it all back together again. You know what I mean? But 
I wanted to give it a try just to make a little bit more space in here just to see if it will work. That's not too bad. Most of it's draining just down here anyway. So I'm getting a little bit of water back, but I have sloped the water down this way anyway. So yeah, ain't too bad at all. Not that much mess at the moment. Yeah, real quickly, just because I do want to lower this, you can see the size of this rubber boot compared to that rubber boot. If I just line it up up here, so we're dead level up there. Can you see that? There's a good 20 mil difference here in this rubber boot. So hopefully, putting that one on you can see the comparison it's a it's more of a swooping bend than what that one is but these come from evolution aqua and these were just cheap ones that i got down my local builders merchant but i'll fit them in there swap them over lower this drum and hopefully that gains me that 20 mil i need right so i got the drum out he's all sat on the floor one of these jobs when you think it's going to take five minutes always takes longer pipe work everything's disconnected food over there i've just worked out how much i need to take off this stand just disconnected it just about to fire up the saw bosh and that's how much i needed to take off a little bit more than 20 mil 35 and a half but she'll do right now it's time for me to put it back together send her home boy Right, so I didn't really think about this. It was easier getting it out than what it is getting it back in. And the old Rebox is taking some hammering. But I've got to lift this drum up and get it under there. I might have to ask for Mrs. Whisperer. I have to wait until one of the kids get home so I can put it on. But I've had the whole filter system off for the last half an hour. And I want to get it back up and running. So try me best. Wish me luck. So she's coming on, guys. I'm just uh, cutting the pipe work, putting it all back together. But while I'm here... I just thought I'd clean out the uh, pre-filter for the spray bar because recently I've noticed the spray bar has not been performing as well. But I haven't cleaned this in nearly three years. And um, not going to lie, I think that's pretty outstanding to be fair. So obviously this drum that I've got takes water from the clean side of the drum. And I haven't took this pre-filter out for three years. And I think that's absolutely amazing just goes to show again that Burton's the quality of their equipment is top top quality it is recommended that you clean these a lot more often but to be fair with you I never knew where it was and uh yeah it's literally right there on that blue pipe it just fits right in underneath this section but just speaking to guys at Burton's they're sending me out a little valve so I can put a valve in here and uh yeah, it'd make it a lot easier for me to clean. Happy days. I thought I'd clean it now today with all of the water out. But yeah, they're sending me a valve to go down there. So spot on. Thank you very much, Andrew Burton's Top man. Look at it. Been trimming up loads of pipe work here at the moment. I've got her mop. I need her mop. I'm topping back up. So we're filling back up. This is how much water's drained out since I've been tinkering around. Not too bad, to be fair. Yeah, to be honest with you, they could do with a bit of a water change after a week treatment. Get everything back up and running again. I need the mop. Let's get inside. Looks like it's gonna absolutely piss down, so I better get everything packed away. You know what I mean? Don't want me stuff getting wet like it is in here. Look at the floor. I'm gonna have to paint the floor again. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Give it a quick mop and give the mop back to Mrs. Whisperer happy days and then i'll tell you a bit more about this but i've got an issue over here so i was just thinking about ordering some new bulbs off of burton's for the pure fact these have been in here for three years never been replaced and as i was taking it out look what i went and done i smashed me quartz sleeve pain in the ass i'm gonna have to order a new one of them as well so for time being i've took both out and all i've done I've just put the two rubber seals in the back, which I'll fit back in a minute. But let me get mopped up and I'll tell you a bit more about it. So yeah, I've just put an order in with Burton's. I rang them up, spoke to Andrew on the phone, placed me order, done me bits and pieces what I needed. He told me that it would be sent out this week. It is part of the reasons why I picked the Burton's drum because everything that 
is needed or needs to be replaced with that drum, they've got it in stock and they keep it in stock all of the time. I'm going away for a couple of days with the wife and the kids, going fishing, but I just want to run through what I've done in the filter house because we're still topping up and where I'm at. So yeah, what I've ordered guys, I've ordered two new cork sleeves, I've ordered two replacement, whatever these things are called, because I had an issue with one of them anyway. And then basically I've ordered two new UV bulbs. Part of the reason why I haven't moved this right down into the corner, because if I need to move anything or adjust anything, it allows me to do it. So at the moment we're still topping up. I need to adjust this pipe over. I've cut it, but I haven't put it in yet. And uh, don't know if you can see, but we are filling up. Hopefully we'll be at level in a minute, but everything seems to be working a treat. I've got the bigger 90 degree bends on here. I have got to repaint the floor where I've been moving stuff around. I've scuffed the paintwork up. This here is on a slight little angle now, but it is the only way that I could get it to work. So it's only just minor, but it is a slight little angle. But she's in and I've got no leaks. So that there's a winner as well. I'm happy with it for now and um, yeah eventually what I'm planning to do is now the drums all in situ all of the pipe work I just needed trimming down like taking little bits off obviously lowering that by 35 mil basically what happened all of the pipe work needed cutting I had a bit of a balls ache as well not gonna lie what happened decided to adjust all of my nozzles running up through and I dropped one it went down there, went through this system, headed over to the pump, and it got stuck in the in the um, propeller in the pump. So I had a right balls ache because I already pretty much finished, dried everything up, and I was just tiddling around at the last minute. And uh, yeah, I had to strip everything down again. So I have found it, I've got it in. But yeah, while I'm topping up here, basically, I thought to myself, I'm gonna jump in the car, run down and get myself some more blocks, Get on Tyler, load us up son, load us up. Happy days. But then look at that look, that's what you call low rider. <laughs> 20 blocks, two bags of sand in the boot. I'm gonna get it in, Mrs. Whisperer's waiting. Rain, sunshine or snow, we don't mess around. But am I allowed through the house? No. What? You can put me here. Put them down there, I'll not bring them through. Us. I'm bringing them through when you're not home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two bags of red. You're going to have to move a little bit faster or you're going to get wet. Well, the work I said, girl. Is that all you can carry? One block? No, I can carry more. But I can't grab them out the car. Look, wait, baby! Is that because I told you you can only carry one? <laughs> Pretty much. You're still going. I still thought you'd going, be done love. by now. Still going, Still going. You know what I need? I need those magic fingers. You check these blocks out. Three, two, one. Boom, there we have it. Happy days. I'll get these out the back in another video. Look at him cleaning out my car. Make sure she's all clean, babe. It was like I was never here, lad. Right, soap right through. But I need to end this video. And then I'm packing my stuff because I'm off on holiday. I'm packing my bits and pieces, I'm going fishing for a few days, so I'll be making some fishing content. If anyone wants to check that out, check back across. I do understand it's a koi channel, but there's a lot of koi keepers that go carp fishing, so I'm going to whack that in a video as well. Look out now, boy. We're all packed for the holiday. Get on the Nast Wolf. Thank your mother for the fishing gear. That said, we're still topping up. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel. And, um... Yeah, I'll do some more tinkering in the filter race when I've got time. And I'll finish building this pond when I've got time. But I'm a busy man, you know what I'm saying? The Koi Whisperer ain't got no time for sleep. We get eight days a week in my life, because I stays awake for one of them, editing videos. Look out now, boy! Boom! Right then, anyone get any foam bubbles on the top of their pond? Just like this? I've made this skimmer work an absolute treat. So I'm pulling in from the top. Any of these bubbles? Just going down here now where I've just cut out with a multi-tool. So 
So any of the protein build up on top of the pond is completely going down to waste 24 seven because I run a trickle in, trickle out. Where we're to in the drum, I'm sat bang on the top, top level of my overflow. So that there's what bypasses the drum. If I decide to pull out that pipe and that pipe, it's both bang on. And as you can see, now we're running the pumps to the normal speed and I'm getting maximum out of the drum. I've also set the float switch to where I want it to be. And yeah, bit of a winner winner chicken dinner. Bit of a mess here on the floor. I've got to paint the floor. But um, yeah, as you can see, all of these bubbles just disappear. Constantly going down the overflow. Probably, to be fair, this little pipe that I put on here, I did, um, not gonna lie, I glued it on with uh, solvent weld glue, and I'll probably end up cutting it down a little bit and putting a proper rubber boot on it. But for now, I just whack the multi-tool in there just to constantly sieve off the top. You see all these bubbles just constantly disappearing down there. All of the protein buildup that's coming off of the pond, you can see them all just scumming their way through and it's working an absolute treat. So happy days. I like that. I like the level. It's uh, finished up to be a good job. And just to check, I've done all of the nozzles. Happy days. Everything's working a treat. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put some cleaning fluid on, give the drum a good clean. I'm gonna leave this for now. I'm bang on level. That ain't bad for a butcher. So um, I'm probably gonna leave this for now for a week or so until I get the bits turned up so I can put my new, uh, what do you call it's in. And I might have a little play around, see if I can do anything about this, the way that it just slopes down. I mean, it's not massive, but I know it's sloping down slightly. So don't think it's gonna cause me an issue. Looking at this one, it looks like I'll be able to get this down a little bit further. So I'll just push down on the back, but I'll do that when I drain the system because I need to cut a pipe to go in here to allow me to move all of this back and then I'll be able to put the bio unit, this bio unit here will be able to sit dead flush against these pipes. I can still access everything I need to here. And basically the gap that I've got there now is plenty enough room for me to disconnect this and this. If I ever need to access the back of the drum, I can slide that forward and then literally lift that right out. So now this can live all the way back there and that will create me a space the same distance of that over here. So I'll be able to put my koi bowl or something like that, do you know what I mean? Make it a little bit more better for me. I've also got that pipe, which is running off my skimmer line, running through the dead center of the drum now. So with the airflow I've got here and the airflow that I've got down here, I shouldn't get any more buildup down in this corner, hopefully. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Woohoo!